Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm in Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Hey, in today's video, I want to talk to you about a really hot topic that a lot of people either just found out about or are finding out about, and yet it's something that you really need to know how to do properly. What is it? It's called surrender. Now, none of us like this word in the English language of surrender uh, because it connotes that you gave up, you rolled over and played dead. That's not what it is. Um, it is something much different when it comes to your spirit and your soul and your ascension. Now, as a twin flame, and I'm going out on a limb here because I get asked this a lot, I'm going to say this. Your opportunity here is to integrate your brand new light body, or you can flounder around in the lower dimensions still. It doesn't matter how much you think you ascended. What is happening is as some people ascend, they are loosening up the ties that bind. That does not equal you've ascended. Okay, that is one of the key things that you need to know because it is a proactive thing. In other words, it is not just happening by default. It's not happening because you do nothing. It's not happening because you don't get to learn about yourself. It doesn't happen because you think God gave you a narcissist to deal with. It doesn't matter if you're married. If you need to ascend, you need to pay attention to it because otherwise, it's pretty uncomfortable, it can feel very brutal, and it can be very discouraging where you say, you know, like, what is going on? A lot of people who consider themselves long-timers on a spiritual journey will kind of find that they get stuck at certain points and don't know how to unstuck or get loose. Now, I need to say these things because there's a lot of things being taken for granted, and I would also caution you, Please don't take anything for granted. You cannot rest on your laurels. You can't think just because you learned, you know, about narcissism or astrology that like somehow that's the end all be all. It is not. It's sometimes in what you're not experiencing. If you are not doing this properly, you are lacking the 5D love connection that really makes it feel like what it's supposed to feel like. That makes every day feel like that. Now, someone that I've worked with, uh, actually, it took a little bit of work because it took close to, you know, at least a year's worth of work. She started to feel that in love feeling all the time, every day. And she kept waiting for the shoe to drop. Now, what if that's you? What if you're like, I don't even know what this feels like. I don't know what it's supposed to feel like. What the hell are everyone talking about? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm going to say to you, don't give up. Give up some of the other things and join me. Join me for my class that I'm having on January 9th. Our topics are going to be open your chakras, open the right ones, because you do have other chakras that are shared connections that need to open. Reading about it isn't going to do it. Putting it into action, doing the right movements, and following my guidance is. The next thing, how to properly surrender. What is surrender? When do you do it? When do you um, kind of get the nudges that you're supposed to do it? I discuss all of that in my class. Opening your chakras for higher health, your super immune system, because that is a concern for a lot of people. What is your super immune system? Your super immune system is bridged to you by your higher selves from another level. And it's not just, you know, the guide state you have or, you know, someone else's version of it. It's actually you. But like much of this, it has to be proactive where you proactively do the things that you're supposed to do in order to receive integrate, maintain. A super immune system is intended to keep you away from a lot of the illness that you see around you because it's getting confusing. There's a lot of overlap between a simple cold and, you know, a COVID variant, for example. 
How do you really tell? It's hard to test this out soon enough, but what if you never really got sick to begin with? What if you had your angel, twin flame angel senses that were able to help guide you into what it is? And I know there's going to be the one person that has come in. Oh, I get that. Oh, I have that. I guarantee you, you have not done the work because I see a lot of comments and you haven't worked with me. The people that work with me, I know where they're at and they have moved leaps and bounds beyond a lot of other people. What if this is new to you? Is a lot of this daunting? Well, it can be daunting if you're looking at the wrong information. If you're like, you know, you know, things are catching your eye because it's clickbait then I would say stop it and pay attention to what is really happening here on planet Earth. There is something new being offered. You are invited here to receive it. If this is new to you, please come join because it is a safe space. I open the floor for questions and answers. I actually offer AMA, which is Ask Me Anything, in a closed environment over Zoom. What is the next thing you need to know about? Your cosmic heart. Your cosmic sacred heart. Okay? Now, there's a lot of brutality in the world. And you could look around you and say, there's, there's not a lot sacred here. But au contraire, there is sacredness within you. There is your ability to still feel the sacred amongst low-level, low-vibe environments, people. What about your brand new impetus to actually release finally and for good and for the good of all your karmic relationships? How do you do this properly? What is a karmic relationship? It's a karmic relationship is usually one where it repeats. It just spins in space and it repeats. I mean, seriously, how many Groundhog Days do you want to keep living through? Is it time for changes? Those changes can start in a very sweet and soft way without making huge abrupt changes where it's like pulling the rug out. You may feel like the rug is being pulled out. Your life is imploding. I guarantee you I have answers for that. Release the karmic places and things for good. I mean... You know, this is something that really grates me personally because I look around and I live in an urban environment. Everyone's like guns and violence and, you know, not getting along. And, you know, like we totally lost the thread from over a year ago. That's not enough. What is, is getting yourself up there and keeping yourself up there so that you are not swimming around in the density. Okay. So karmic people places things for good. What about the next thing? Yeah, I got to mention it again and again and again. False twins. There's always the people that think that, well, it's not them. It's not them. It's not them who, you know, is focused on a false twin. 100% of everyone over the past 10 years has not met their twin flame. You met something. Okay, and that is where you lack discernment. That is where a lot of people lack discernment. That is where readers lack discernment. And making sure that you are making the right moves for your life, that you're not expending time, money, and energy in the wrong direction is incumbent on you. That's your responsibility. How do you want to live? How do you want to die? So we are going to talk about that and the distinguishing markers of how do you know? How do you really know? Because like it or not, the more you focus on you, the easier it becomes and you start getting where you need to be. Where you need to be is up-leveled, upgraded, enjoying, okay, enjoying parts of your journey. And I mean enjoying with that like sweet poignancy of love, the deep, 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 deep primal stuff. And not just the deep primal stuff, the stuff that, you know, keeps you going day in and day out. 
Now, you've heard the expression, think with your heart, right? How do you actually do that? Because people think that that's just good intentions. Like, oh, I had a good intention to hold the door. Oh, I had a good intention to be a good Samaritan. No. It is about allowing your crown and your high heart to begin directing your life for you. This is, this is something that people get upset about because they feel like there's some force against them. They can't do what they willfully want to do. And then it brings up all these questions about free will. Well, what's free will anyway? Do I have free will? Don't I have free will? Why does that person seem to have free will? Begin to be steered, just like in that song, and the stars will steer the heart, okay? You have connections that need to be in place to make your life easy, to guide you, okay? And be soul-guided, not just guided by guides or, you know, saint so-and-so or archangel so-and-so. Yeah, that's all been part of the fourth dimension. Time to graduate. Time to grow up and mature because you're not in that place anymore. That place has had a lot of closure to it already. That's why it's not working for a lot of people. I have the suggestions. I have the supplements to recommend. I have the tools. I have the know-how. And I have 15 years of experience doing this. So I'm starting um, in three parts on January 9th. I am also having a New Year's, um, New Year, New Moon for you, anyone who joins that. And I have, uh, I have a limited amount of discount uh, tickets to it. Please check the link below. I know it's a pandemic still. We're going to have a four-year pandemic, watch and see. But it's not really four years of pandemic. It is ascension time. And a lot of that is being confused. Go to my website and check out my mini ebooks that I've prepared. Check the links below. If you need one-on-one -on -one help, if you need clarity, if you need guidance, if you are having symptoms, if you're having advanced symptoms and you're sure something is going on, but you're not, not sure what it is, reach out. That is what I'm here for. Okay. I don't bumble around like this. I don't believe in people wasting time, energy, effort, money on the wrong things. It doesn't matter what you've studied up till now. This is it. It's for real. We're turning the corner. We have a pivot point. You thought you pivoted last year. Watch and see this coming up year. So let's get a jump start on it. I'm going to be covering a lot of things that are part of your basic foundation that you need to know, that you need to get under your belt so that this becomes an enjoyable ascension twin flame journey experience for you. And that you really have those experiences of the lover that you're supposed to have, not of other negative stuff, okay? I know that that's very clickbaity for people. Stop it. <laughs> Stop your own mind from, you know, trying that and let's get body focused because that is where the connections are. That's where you felt it. You felt it to begin with. And we got to keep it going. Thank you so much. Bye now.